Right. So grip pressure, obviously, we're not going to see, obviously, but I think you realise now how loose you actually yeah. have to hold that golf club. That kind of sword position hold with the golf club, yeah. let it fall through your hands, then you're going to hold it again just, just before it's going to go. That's your grip pressure, okay? Then as the club weight falls down, you just feel the sort of finger just gripping on a little bit just to sort of support the club. There's no squeeze with the thumbs, you're not gripping down for dear life, which, to be honest, most golfers tend to do, okay? So this one here on the right was kind of your before. Okay. Not bad movement there, okay, good full shoulder tip, but you kind of stop there. Now we start trying to shift, so your hips start going, but now you're starting to pop up and move back, which yeah. lends itself to that phrase that we hear time and time again, you lifted your head, keep your head down. Your head's not lifting, but the head is moving up there because yeah. physics have just caused you to pop yeah. up. You're coming back on your feet. You see your left heel now coming off the ground as you're at the golf ball. And obviously, you're going toe tap, left heel, right foot, left heel. Yeah. You're kind of doing this more. There's no shift of weight at all because if you try to shift the weight now from a static start, you just spin back yeah. and you finish on your right foot. This foot now is indicating a lot of weight being back on that right toe, that's going to result in the club coming across the ball, potentially slice it. Okay. What you did was turn the club face in, as we'll see it set up, to compensate for that. Yeah. And it kind of went straight on occasions, but sometimes it go way left, sometimes way right, and your dispersion okay. was massive, okay? We're trying to get this golf club, I sit down a little bit straighter, which you can see there now, it's getting there, okay? This is the exaggerate, which I don't think is a bad thing, it's a little bump to that right side, okay? As we get to about here now, yeah, see? Yeah. So it's starting to move, okay? No, so, and you look at it, that looks really, when you slow it down, it looks really silly, okay? But if you actually watch golf on TV now, look at the impact right, position you get into. Yeah, so everything's moving. And again, this is a smaller backswing, so you're not turning, obviously, the yeah. back is not as near as far as it would be. But as you get to about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, we're still shifting. As we get to about 10, 10, 30, 11 with that left arm, we're starting to move. So this is where a lot of people go, I find a pause on my backswing, because the hands get here and the lower half's kind of moving, yeah? Yeah. And that's exactly what that guy on that video I was showing you before is doing. He's moving onto that left side now. So your left foot now is staying on the ground. There's your strike. Yeah, look you, at my feet. I've been yeah. doing the little... Yeah, doing the old tap, tap, tap. There's that line that guy had. Yeah. Yeah. So you've moved through that line, okay? You started off just inside that, okay? You move off it a little bit, and then we shift through it. Come back to the goal pool, good strike. And then look at that finish. That now compared to... Yeah, where my... Yeah. That one there, I mean, it's a smaller swing and you've turned through more. Momentum would have carried you through on this right-hand one a lot more just because you've actually swung the club so fast, okay? This one here, now you're shifting left. It's a much more efficient movement. The strike and the sound off is good. And this is where a lot of people hit the ball well, as in hit the sweet spot. This is now a better strike, which is hitting the sweet spot and the right angle of attack. So your efficiency, your spin rates, the ball flight, everything else is going to come with that, okay? Not just hitting the sweet spot and the ball going a mile, which you hit the ball a long way, but like... <laughs> all over the place, yeah. It's incredible, the difference. Yeah, that's great, mate, to be fair. In one hour, 40, you see. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So just moving that. So this is, uh, this is what I would say to start with, okay? Hitting some shots here now, and you can just do that movement there at home. Just trying to feel, again, yeah, it's, it's almost, almost like coordinating natural. that movement yeah. so it just becomes natural. But if you look, I mean, you said you've got your son who's nine. When he first started throwing a ball, he'd probably stand there and be like, arm way back here, paused, trying to get more power. And then throw it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really work. Or you see a kid having like a massive long run kick in a football, okay? Yeah, all these <laughs> kind of things, yeah? They try and they understand how power's created, and golfers know how kind of power is created. I've got to move to my right side, okay? Now I've got to move to my left side. Oh, hang on. You're trying to move left, but at the same time as you're trying to go this way, other things are going down and going this way. So now forces of nature effectively just throw you up in the air. Yeah. Yeah? If you take a cable and try and pull it as hard as you can from a static position, you go, <laughs> you're going to pull up and out the shot, yeah. which then gives that impression. Oh, you're lifting your head, keep your head down. Your left foot's off the ground, keep your left foot down. All these things that people see you do and go, don't do that. Well, I'm doing it for a reason. Yeah, like, but also the thing is everyone gives you advice oh, when you're doing wrong. But the hilarious. reality is with what you've been able to do, mm -hmm. and I'm... As I've got older, I've realised I'm I quite like visual. Mm. Being able to for you, the way you've described it for me works perfectly. Yeah, yeah. And to be able to show like with the line on the gentleman previously and yeah. everything, and you can now put you, you yeah, can. And although you it can feels compare. weird to start, yeah. Well, I think even now, I would say in the last 15 or 20 minutes you've hit in golf balls, when you first did this, you almost see your face going like, how am I going to coordinate all this? Yeah. Bloody hell. And then 15, 20 minutes of it, and just short shots. If I said, you I hit a four right now, you'd be just duffing all over the place. You'd be like, I can't do that. Give the per Most tall players, when they're looking at swing change, they're looking at eight, nine on wedges. Because they know they can hit it, even on a tee peg sometimes. Because they know that the ball so decently. So you would advise when I play then during the week? Just go play golf. Okay. Yeah, just... just Focus more on actually the playing and golf, what club to take, where you're going to go, yeah. and then just make swings. And we'll hopefully, the idea behind so with, this is... With the lower 
clubs, yep. would you suggest I try and do more of this? I would just just, just step to the just golf ball and just swing the swing the club. See yeah. what happens. Exactly, yeah. Because if you start thinking too much on the golf good, course, yeah. What we <laughs> what we would hope for is that is your swing kind of today. There's your swing in practice on the course. It will kind of somewhere be somewhere in the middle, in the middle and yeah. be playable. That's okay. the idea. If you're trying to swing like this on the golf course, you get so stuck in your own way. And again, you said a couple of times it felt like it's going to go way over there. Well, if you feel as you're coming down to the golf ball from here because you're doing this, it's going to go way right. What are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to panic yeah, and then you're going to try and tweak it as far yeah. left as you possibly can and it's going to be an yeah, you're right. Disaster. I mean, I'm going to try because I'm playing. We're going to the range on Wednesday night mm-hmm. um, anyway. Yeah. Um, um, uh, that's tomorrow. So yeah, like, I'll be go. practicing yeah, yeah. this tomorrow yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the more you can... a bloody day it is. Yeah, I know you're struggling. Oh, my head back, is all in, back in school with the kids, aren't they? But with this, and when you're down the range tomorrow, and, and then if you again, I encourage people if they can to do it. When you're on the range tomorrow, if you're going down with your son, even get him to film your swing from face on and just yeah. send it to me and say, "Add a look," and then okay. you'll look at yourself and you can always compare this video. Then you go, "Hang on a second, I'm doing this too much." or I'm doing it not enough. And what you'll find, when you're going to send a video to me, it's almost like handing your work into the teacher. You make sure you're, you're double checking, triple checking. You go, oh, hang on, I'm not doing that. I'll go and do it again. So okay. you're actually checking yourself. And you say, you like visuals, you're monitoring yourself now. Because you can't yeah. see yourself no. unless you film yourself. Okay? Mm. But when you're on the range, actually, so many guys filming themselves, they've got no idea what they're looking for. They look at us and go, oh, that looks wrong, that looks wrong. They just change everything that looks wrong. There's a lot of things in that swing that may not be textbook based on maybe a slightly stronger grip or something more, whatever it may be. But what's it bringing back the club, back to the goal or sending it on its way? Down the target line, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, honestly, please, please save his late at night, after night, whatever when you're on the rain, whatever it may be. Yeah. yeah. Pay it across to me. I'm my friend anyway. So if I just sat there, and go, I can, I can actually look and go, oh yeah, good, bad, or mm, maybe not so good. Okay. All right. Or yeah. give some pointers as to, oh, maybe you've gone a bit too far. I doubt you will do, but you sometimes guys they work really hard again. They go, and they're like, oh, hang on, I'm going too, am I going too far? I'm not sure. So yeah, ping them for okay, across to me, and we'll have a look and uh, go from there, mate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Happy great. days. Good stuff, right?